how it's going. I'm Anna Golden, and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so as, as I said last time, um, I wasn't going to get bothered of getting changed in between filming these two because I'm doing uh, them back to back like I often do, and I'm not feeling brilliantly well at the moment, but this is like literally my only opportunity to get any filming done this week, um, and I didn't get the you know, option to do it last week, so, you know, the, the last, <laughs> yeah, this, this is, yeah, <laughs> this is being done on kind of a bit of a tight turnaround, um, so, uh, the topic of this one is where in the world, so it's, it's a bit like the, the one I did with the any animals a few weeks back, um, where it's like, if you could be any animal or any animals, uh, what would you be? Uh, so this one is, uh, if you could go, even if you had all the money in the world and you could travel to anywhere in the world, where would you go to? And then again, there's no limitation on, you know, how many answers you're allowed to give. Uh, so I'm not going to limit myself on how many places I'm going to say. Uh, but I am going to, to, <laughs> to go in with the obvious one and start with Egypt. Um, so I think I've mentioned this before in one of my fanfluations that I'm a huge fan of ancient Egypt and Egyptology um, and stuff like that and one of the things that I want to see is like the Great Pyramids, I want to do like one of those Nile cruises um, and visit all the ancient sites um, and you know go into all the places that I'm allowed to go into and like see from afar all those places that I'm not allowed to go into because I know, you know, I know there's like certain restrictions and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably for me like the really big one. Um, it's like one of those places that I've just wanted to visit for like as long as I can remember. Um, it's something that kind of excites me um, and I, I know I've mentioned this before, I'm not a big travel person. Um, but I think, you know, travelling to Egypt would be worth it, like, ideally want to go with someone because I wouldn't want to go. I, I, I'm not somebody who would ever really want to travel alone. I like sharing experiences with people, I like sharing memories with people, so I would definitely need to find somebody to go who would be just as excited about seeing all that stuff that I, <laughs> that I have. <laughs> and we can be like, you know, taking pictures in front of the pyramids or whatever, that, that, uh, yeah. That, that would be my ideal kind of um, location, but as of yet, I don't have anybody who specifically gets as excited about the idea of going to Egypt as I do, <laughs> taking a now cruise. Um, and I saw the second sort of place though, uh, which is Japan, I've got like an abundance of people who would willingly willingly travel to Japan, they're, they're literally like, just tell me when you've got the money saved, we'll go. <laughs> Japan seems to be a really easy sell for the circle of people that I know, um, partly because a lot of the people that I know are big into anime um, and stuff like that. So it's a really kind of easy sell for people with very similar interests to you, um, or, you know, who, who love anime, who love like manga, who love like video games and stuff like that to kind of go, yeah, you want to go to Japan? Yeah, I want to go to Japan. Let's just save up the money and go to Japan. Um, and again, I know that's like a long, long travel, uh, so I would, you know, it would be one of those where I'd really want to make the most of it. And, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe um, sort of go with, it. if I could, maybe a slightly bigger group. But again, it's, it's you know, a financial thing, it's this, that, and the other. And um, as I said, it's, it's one of those where it's like, the, the idea of going there and seeing certain parts of Japan taking the culture and, and stuff like that, that does, that does excite me, it does interest me. Um, so it's, it's one of those sort of like big-ish ones uh, that I would definitely want to travel to and definitely want to, to actually see for myself. Um, and I think, it, in honesty, like everywhere else is kind of like, well, maybe I want to go there, maybe I'd, it'd be nice to go there, like, you know. I sometimes think maybe it'd be nice to go somewhere in the States and just sort of visit and take in the culture over there and just to sort of say that I've been, but it's not one of those things that's kind of like, yeah, I'd really want to go. It's sort of like, yeah, maybe, 
If I have to. <laughs> so I think in all honesty, unlike unlike last time where I was like, there are three things and I could hybrid them together to create this one thing. Um, I think for me, like it is just really Egypt and Japan that are the, the two major places that really kind of excite me into and, and you know, that are the amongst a few things that I'm like you know what I will suffer and I will travel to these places um and I think actually that that for me is kind of what it comes down to a lot because traveling does make me feel so unwell um the the idea of having to do like a long flight or just a long journey um it just it doesn't appeal to me so in order for me to kind of go, yeah, I really want to go there, there has to kind of be sort of a, a something on the other end that kind of counterbalances the suffering I know I'm going to go through in order to get there. And with Egypt, it's it's all the history. It's, it's all the, you know, the pyramids and the, the mummies and <laughs> the hieroglyphs and, and all that kind of, you know, that history, that, that really fascinates me and really resonates with me um, that would be why it would be worth me going because it, you know I'm in love with the idea of ancient Egypt and I've been in love with the idea of ancient Egypt since I was like seven years old so for me that really is a major kind of counterbalance to yes I'm, I'm not going to travel particularly well and I'm going to feel a bit like shit. <laughs> whoops sorry um, I'm going to feel um uh, not you know not particularly well at the end of this um so yeah that that for me is a major counterbalance there and with japan it's you know the various things that i know are over there um as i said i'm a, a huge lover of, of anime and video games and, and manga and stuff like that so going over there and taking in that part of the culture but there's also like a lot of a lot of their sort of historical culture that i may not know like huge huge amounts about um, and post this, sort of like my, my Egyptology knowledge is definitely a lot better, a lot cleaner. Um, but I do still sort of know like various bits and pieces that kind of you know, interest me and I've picked up. And, and I think it would be a really fascinating place to kind of go, both in terms of like modern culture and in terms of like the, the ancient culture and you know, the, the obvious video games and, and anime and, and stuff like that. <laughs> so, again. For me, that, that's kind of enough to sort of counterbalance the, oh my god, I'm going to have to travel and I'm going to feel awful because I'm going to have to travel to this place. Um, so I don't think anywhere else in the world kind of has that same sort of appeal to me. I think everywhere else in the world, even sort of like places that are quite close where, you know, I have been on holiday with, you know, family um, in recent years. I, if they're not sort of places that I'd kind of go, yeah, I'm really excited, I really want to go there kind of place. It's kind of like, oh, you, you, you want to go on holiday there and you want me to come to you? Okay, that's fine, I'll go with you. Um, and, and I think that sort of very much, you know, is, is a case of, I, as, as I said you know, near the beginning of this, I'm somebody who likes to share memories and share experiences. Um, I would never really travel on my own anywhere. Um, because, you know, I, I, I like, you know, shared memories. I like being able to talk to people who, who've been there and who've experienced something um, about their experiences, about their, you know, you know their um, <laughs> memories and, and stuff of, of the place. It's, you know, for me, an experience shared is more valuable than an experience on my own, which kind of an odd thing to say considering how steadfast and introvert I am um but there's there's sort of a difference of this is how I like to spend my off time and this is how I like to, to make memories um if I'm just you know spending my off time doing something on my own um that's fine I'm not really making memories in that sense but if I'm like going on a day trip or if I'm going you know on a holiday or something like that I always want to go with someone um, so that I've got the shared experience, so I've got the shared memories, um, because I think to me that is more valuable um, for one reason or another, and in one way or another. And 
maybe it's a bit contradictory and a bit weird, but it is just kind of how I feel about it. Um, and I, I, I can't really explain why. So, yeah, like, like I said, nowhere else in the world gets me excited enough to say, yeah, I really want to, to travel there, um, apart from Egypt and, and Japan, um, for their sort of various reasons. Uh, so those are definitely the two places that I would want to visit and I would want to go. Um, be, you know, that's just, but that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Um, and, you know, I'd be fascinated to find out, you know, where anybody else would want to go. Um, so definitely comment and message and whatever else about, you know, where in the world you'd want to go and, why and you know if you're like me and you're not much of a traveler you know what makes it worth it worth traveling there for you um or alternatively you know whether you would prefer to travel by yourself and get like like just for the experience because you appreciate the experience by itself or whether you're like me and you're like having shared memories and, and traveling with other people and you know rather doing it rather than doing it by yourself it's, it's interesting to know um, because I have actually met people who would rather go and have the experience regardless of whether or not they're with anybody. Um, just because they they can appreciate the, the idea of, a, you know, you can form memories that last by yourself and you can like share the experience with other people by recounting those memories. Um, whereas I'm very much, I, I like to share the memory, I like to share an experience. Um, it's, it's one of the reasons why... I very rarely go to the cinema on my own, but then I very rarely go to the cinema, so... <laughs> um, Alright, okay, so with that done and said, um, next time I'm going to try experimenting with something a little bit interesting. Um, I want to maybe do a few vlogs um, with the theme of the book is better. They're not all going to be staggered together. They're going to be sort of separated out uh, a little bit. Um, I don't want to do them like all together. But I, I want to sort of just, you know, from my personal experience, um, from when I've read books and have seen either TV series or movies, depending on uh, which it is, um, that it's been, or both, or, you know, whatever, uh, that it's been turned into, um, why I still feel like the book is better, and I don't always. There are plenty of cases that I think I feel like it's the other way around, where I actually feel like the, whatever version of it is better than the, than the book, but for this particular, this particular um, run, um, which, as I said, aren't going to be consecutive weeks. There's going to be the first one next week, and then if I want to, maybe another one next month or the month after, um, depending on when I can decide what the next one is, if I ever decide what the next one is, and I may not do another one. Um, as I said, I want to I wanna give it a go, see how I feel sort of recording it. Um, but anyway, so the book is better is going to be like the general title um, and specifically I'm going to be talking about 101 Dalmatians <sighs> just because in my honest 100% honest opinion your book is better your book is better than both the animated and the live actions definitely better than the animated um, I will go through my reasons for it next time so <laughs> I'm hoping that has gotten some of you at least a little bit interested to come back next time. Um, I'm also fairly certain a lot of you might be going there for the book. <laughs> yes, yes, there is a book. Um, and this is one, it is my favourite book of all time. So, alright, okay. Um, with that said, I hope you guys have found this one interesting, and again, I hope you're looking forward to the next one, um, at least interested to come back to see what I have to say, and I will see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!